Hey folks, uh, my previous video I was talking about uh, stencil making and uh, the quick easy way and the way I'm doing it I guess. I'm not a, an efficient auto or nothing like that. I had just, um, just within the last couple of days painted my very first crankbaits ever. Uh, I used to have a lure business years ago, did spinnerbaits, buzzbaits and jigs, uh, everything was powder coating. So a little bit different. Um, actually pretty easy to be honest with you uh, trying to get the dimensions and the, the patterns for these crank baits and uh, uh, it's pretty tough they can be pretty tough uh, there's plenty of stencils out there on the market you can buy and these guys make some really fantastic stencils out there but me I'm a D it yourself for kind of person and I like to take everything the hard way and make everything myself um, or at least try to um, I, I really enjoy it that's what's pulls me into this hobby but uh, people had uh, commented and uh, sent me some messages about asking exactly how I went and applied my, my little patterns on here and um, so I figured uh, what tools and supplies I needed one uh, a leaf a leaf look at the different facets for a crankbait or a crawl pattern man or even gill plates and what have you I think that was just a great idea my son came up with and uh, um, you know, let nature take its course. You know, he—they're showing us. He's showing us everything we can do and and what to use. Um, the other thing I, uh, you need is you can use a marker, a uh, little sharpie, whatever, and you can go around the outlines of the the uh, leaf or the pattern that you want. Uh, just like uh, this hand cut I did uh, a little earlier in the week. Um, the problem is with a marker or a sharpie, what have you, when you go around the outlines, it will wipe off very, very simple or very easy. Uh, excuse me. And you can use a hair dryer, it kind of dry it off a little bit. But for this um, acetane or cellophane, whatever you want to call this uh, material, uh, from these little file uh, protectors, it wipes off pretty easy. So I just found using uh, a little bit of paint, airbrush, put it in place, and there you go. Uh, and that way I can go in and I can take and place it where I need to. Of course, I tape it down the best I can. So I want it to stay in a place, especially, you know, when I'm starting to spray the airbrush. Uh, I'm trying to hold everything down as well as I can to, to make sure it don't fly away. I set the airbrush pressure down to about 5 PSI. And uh, for this one, I don't have any high dollar airbrushes, what have you. Well, that might come in time. Um, but I've had this one here for 25 years. Uh, it's uh, from Cornwell Tools. It's basically a, um, a Badger 360 is what it is who makes it for them. Uh, of course, it has a small cup, but for the fine detail, that actually comes out pretty decent. This is a medium tip uh, needle. I do have a, a fine one coming, so I can get a little bit more intricate on the detailing whatever but um, uh, and that's basically what you do end up doing is just go in and spray your little detail and then once that's sprayed on you can hit it with a hair dryer dry it up and it'll stay and it'll stick pretty good uh, to your uh, plastic and it comes out like a flat paint because I'm using the acrylics and I'm using the cheap simple stuff I'm using the the Walmart Apple barrel and uh, some of the um, uh, folk art sorry about that and I mixed a few of those things and that's about it uh, I've even done a couple spinnerbait heads um, mixing several different colors to come up with what I wanted what have you um, but just like with this little crawl pattern you know I, I actually use the paper stencil yeah, yeah that was kind of turned out all right but you can't see and then this way if I hold this up I can see exactly where I want to put that pattern and I don't have to fool around because I'm trying to take a, a solid colored pattern <laughs> for me I'm sorry uh, I'm not that talented I'd have to tape it into place and what have you but uh, you take your little plastic Put it over side, upside down on your cutting surface, whatever. You won't have to worry about cutting or peeling and uh, scraping the, uh, the paint off as you go in and cut out your little pattern. So there you go. Hope it uh, clears up a little bit. Thanks, guys.